What's up, YouTube? This is Tony Harvin bringing to you all episode number 10 of Religion, Biblical Discussions, and Debates here on my YouTube channel. Do note this discussion is by audio only. Over the telephone, this topic is on the Son of God. The subtitle is, Is There a Son of God in Heaven Right Now? Now, the two that we'll be discussing this manner is Apostle Thomas from New York and Peter Cox from Delaware. Peter Cox believes that there is no Son of God in heaven right now, and Apostle Thomas believes that there is a Son of God in heaven right now. Now, the two parties must prove with Bible only, the Bible only to back up their statements. Now, before I start this debate, this discussion, do know that anybody is welcome on this debate platform, whether you disagree with any of the videos that I put up on this channel. Now, that do not mean that I'm going to put up your sermons. That do not mean that I'm going to put up your preaching services. You know, either you're going to speak the truth from God's word or just make yourself look and sound like a fool. The choice is yours. This platform is not meant to confuse people, but for people to listen and two people discuss upon the scriptures, trying to reason with each other. Also, whether, you know, I disagree or agree with any of the debaters, I represent none of the persons debating, neither do I represent their organizations. Now, the two parties agreed and consented to this discussion. It must prove with the Bible only. Each of them will be given five to ten minutes each, the first go round, with no interruptions being allowed. And after both of them speak, then we will go into the rebuttal round. Each of them will be given an opportunity to question each other during the rebuttal round interruptions can occur but to a certain extent of not disrespecting each other otherwise this discussion will be concluded without further ado mr thomas will start this discussion off first Tony Harvard for providing this <clears throat> this forum so we can uh get into uh the heresy there's no son of god in heaven now all right, so I'm just going to give you the statement and so forth that I have to expedite the time, and then we can get into it. And basically, my position is exactly as the, uh, the biblical text scriptures uh, read. It doesn't need any cut on it, which means it's, it's straight. Okay? It's true just like the scriptures read, precept upon precept, line upon line. There is a Son of God in heaven now. There is a Son of God in heaven now. Now, I will prove the notion uh, of no more son of God is heresy is a heresy, and of course, for the definition of heresy is an opinionated belief or doctrinal theory that is strongly at variance with established beliefs, customs, and so forth. Okay, it's an opinionated belief. Okay, doctrinal theory, but there's no relevance. There's no there's no basis in scripture and so forth to support it. Okay. And that's, that's for the damnation of a living soul. Now, I will also prove the Son of God consists of more than just flesh and blood or uh, natural breath of life as, as it's being uh, propagated. The Son is the Word of God. The Son is the Word of God that was made a sacrificial offering of an immortal flesh body with in innocent blood for eternal life, covenant, and divine soul with all the attributes of supreme beingness by the Holy Spirit. And, of course, we can, we can talk about, you know, the supreme beingness and the three attributes and so forth that, he would, that was demonstrated through that body, okay, that proved that he was more than just flesh, blood, natural breath of life, okay. The express image of God person and all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, that's the Son. The Son is God-man. He was made by the Holy Ghost. After the image likeness of God, the Father who sent the Son to, re to reveal him to the children of God, which is us. The other thing I will prove, I will prove there is no eternal life salvation believing there is no Son of God in heaven now. There's only one hindrance of, uh, to making eternal life and salvation coming with God the Father, according to Acts, the eighth chapter. Okay, and we'll read that scripture and so forth like it need be. But nevertheless, it says, um, 
and uh, the eunuch answered Philip because he asked uh, understand this, he asked the eunuch understand this, what thou read. When he joined himself, the spirit moved on Philip to join himself to the chariot. Okay, and the eunuch said, I pray thee, of whom speaketh the prophet this, of himself or of some other man? Then Philip opened his mouth and began at the same scripture and preached unto him Jesus. And as they went on their way, they came unto a certain water, and the eunuch said, See, here is water. What doth hinder me to be baptized? And Philip said, If thou believest with all thine heart, thou mayest. And he uh, he answered and said, "I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God." So how are you gonna how are you gonna even overcome that without believing Jesus Christ is the Son of God? That, this is the rock solid standard of believing and confessing who the Son is and what He did to give the acceptable answer of a good conscience uh, meet for repentance. Okay, because you have to fulfill repentance before you even be water baptized. There's repentance before there's remission. Okay, and that is a statement basically uh, uh, that you have to give in order to, uh, to even be eligible or to, to meet the prerequisites to be water baptized, believing, believing Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. I will prove also if the Son of God is no more, the question is, well, not uh, prove, but nevertheless, the, the question is, do we have to believe that there is no more? the Son of God, before you are water baptized for the remission of sins. I'll read it again. Do we have to believe that Jesus Christ is no more the Son of God before you are water baptized for the remission of sins? Also, I will prove the Son, of, the Son is the Lamb, the Lion, the Dude of David, the Man-Child, the Word of God, the only potentate, the Son of Man, the Son of, son of the Highest, the Son of the Living God, the Son of David, the Son of... Abraham, the son of God, uh, 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 the son of the blessed, etc. The son is in heaven, making intercession as an advocate and mediator as the high priest that ascended into heaven to appear before God the Father for us, according to Hebrews, the fourth chapter. Answer these, uh, uh, anyway, I'll, I'll ask these questions and so forth in the, in, the, uh, in the rebuttal round and so forth. But nevertheless, the question that we want to deal with, right, now we believe that there is there is a Son of God in heaven now. But them that believe there is no Son of God in heaven now, which, Peter, you, you, you believe that, if there is no, no more Son of God now, what hinders a living soul from being, what, from being baptized, which now does save us? What? How is a, any living soul added to Jesus' church when you must be water baptized, and the only hindrance to water baptism is believing Jesus Christ is the Son of God, according to Acts the eighth chapter. What does a living soul believe with all their all their heart unto righteousness, to be made the righteousness of God in him that is no more the Son of God, which came to an end? Okay, now we, we'll leave it right there and so forth, so you can make his opening statement. We can get right into it. All right, cool. So, uh, Mr. Peter Cox, what's up next? All righty. I just like to say, first of all, I want to uh, thank God for being here, being on this platform that Tony set up. I think uh, I want to thank Tony. I want to thank my opponent, Apostle Thomas, for showing up. And I'm just going to get straight into it. Now, the reason why I don't believe that there's a Son of God in heaven now is plain and simple. God only talks about for the scripture only mentions two types of nature, flesh and blood and spirit. There's nothing else, nothing in between. And the reason why the son of God cannot be in heaven is because the son of God was born of Mary. He was born of a woman, according to Galatians. Um, he was made of a woman according to Galatians 4 and 4. And Jesus said himself that he was flesh and blood, according uh, to John, when he said, uh, 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 flesh is in my flesh. He said, if any man eat of my flesh and drink of my blood, he has no life in him. So he's confirming 
that uh, he's uh, flesh and blood. And we know, according to Corinthians 15, 50, we know that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Now, if flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, and the Son of God consisted of flesh and blood with a natural spirit like life us, we know he can't enter in. So the only thing that can go into heaven is spirit. Now, for them to say that there's a Son of God in heaven now, they got to give me Bible for a uh, uh, only begotten spirit Son of God. They have to give me that. Other than that, you cannot say the Son of God is in heaven now uh, 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 as flesh and blood because flesh and blood can't enter. And that's what the Son of God, Son of Man, Son of David, and, and all that, that, those titles uh, confined to him, and all those titles was consistent of flesh and blood with a natural spirit of life like us. Now, what I w- I'm going to ask my opponent, I don't care what scripture he go to, he can go to all the scripture he wants, I'm going to deal with Acts 8, what he, what he talked about. I believe Acts 8, what it says. But I understand Acts 8 when the Bible is unit and so. And I'm going to explain it when we come to the rebuttal here. But my question is going to be to them or him is, if there's a Son of God in heaven now, right now, sitting on the right hand of the Father, my question is going to be, what nature do he consist of, flesh and blood, or spirit? Now, I don't want them to run to Luke uh, 24, 39, and talk about the saying they a spirit have not flesh and bones as you see me have. If you run there, my question was going to be, then give me Bible for flesh and bones being another nature. Because the Bible only talks about two types of nature, flesh and blood, and spirit, nothing else. So if you're going to say the Son of God consists of flesh and bone, you're going to have to find Bible chapter from where flesh and bone is another nature. Because flesh and bone is just a manifestation. Flesh and, flesh and bone is something that he appeared in. And that's what God appeared in. That's why he, God said a spirit have not flesh and bone as you see me have. He appeared in that flesh and bone body. It was just a manifestation. That's it. It wasn't another nature. If you say it was another nature, then give me Bible chapter and verse to back up that a uh, flesh and bone body is another nature. Because I only have Bible according to First Corinthians 15, and I can read all through First Corinthians 15 when it says about the earthly, uh, there's an earthly body and a heavenly body. That, that earthly is us. The heavenly is the angel. There's a mortal body and the mortality. The mortal is us. The immortality is the angel. There's a, uh, a terrestrial body and a celestial body. The terrestrial is us. And the celestial is the angel. So, the Bible only talks about two types of bodies, uh, earthly or heaven, terrestrial, celestial, moral or immortality, earthly or heaven. That's it. Nothing in between. So if you want to put the Son of God up in heaven now, you must put him up there as flesh and blood with a natural spirit of life. The Son of God ended on the cross. The Bible said, truly, this was the Son of God. You can't sweep that under the rug. Was means past tense. He was talking about that which was hanging on that cross when it died. It said truly it was the Son of God. If our doctor son died, we can't say hey, he's still alive. Or we can say that was my son. We can't say still uh, my son when a president died. We can't say that president is still the president, or we can say that was the president. So if you're going to put the Son of God in heaven now, and the Bible only talks about two types of of nature, flesh and blood and spirit, and you know the Son of God is not spirit, 
Mary didn't give birth to a spirit. Simeon didn't handle a spirit. And if, if you say that he was a spirit before in the beginning with God, you're going to have to bring me Bible to prove, like I said, that God had a uh, spirit only begotten son. You got to prove that. So that's going to keep them at bay to all those ones that believe that the Son of God is in heaven now, existing right now. I want to know what his, exi- what his existence is. Blessed blood or spirit. And whatever your answer is, I need Bible chapter and verse to back up your answer because automatically, if you say flesh and blood, if you say flesh and blood, you're doomed because First Corinthians 15, 50, got you. And I'm going to stick with that, and that's it. Because the Son of God only consisted of flesh and blood with a natural purple light, and that ended on the cross. Now, if you say that he didn't end it on the cross, then I want to know what died on the cross. Was it the Son of God? So that's, that's what I got to put out there. I'm making it short. I want to get back to the thing. I don't want to say this thing going long. So I just want everyone to prove the point. That's it. So I'm done. All right, cool. Uh, we can move on to the rebuttal round. Both of you could question each other. I'll piggyback. Uh, if you got anything to say about what you guys said in the first round? So uh, either one of you can start it off first. Yeah, well, I'm, go- I'm going to go ahead and start it out because <clears throat> Peter is stuck on this this idea that there's only two natures, right? And That's the right. Son of God was born with the nature of flesh and blood and natural breath, natural breath of life, right? That's what you're yeah. saying, Peter. Okay, yep. now, okay, let's let's go let's go to that creative work. First of all, Mary conceived of the Holy Ghost, right? You said she what now? Mary conceived of the Holy Ghost. She was she was conceived with the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Okay. The Holy Ghost made the body. The body inside Mary's body. That's that's get right. it right. Right. Now, when the body came out and they gave the name, right, it wasn't Emmanuel, but his name was called Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. God is the spirit, right? I agree with that, yes. Okay, now, to say that he was only natural, uh, natural, natural, uh, uh, natural life, that means flesh and blood, right, can't demonstrate all of the attributes of the supreme being, which is God. You, you, you feel me? Or you just, you, okay, if you don't want to answer the questions and so forth, because I'm, I'm basically, I'm, I'm walking you down, okay? Well, I, but, well, I, want, I want you to try to explain yourself what you mean. That okay, I'm going to say it like this. I'm going to say it like what? this. Now, I'm going to say it like this. He was more than natural, uh, he was more than flesh and blood and natural, um, and, and natural life because he had yep. both. He had both the image and the likeness of God. All right, so yeah, what you're saying is God, so what you said, he was God, he right, go was God and man. All right, I agree with that. I agree he was God and man. Okay, so he was you the agree, God man. So, good. So then you agree then that your statement is false. Okay. Because he was, more, he was more than God. Listen, God man, when you say God man, and we're saying God with, a, with, 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 the, with the initial capitalized, man. Okay, we're talking about six letters there. God, man. We're talking about image and likeness, which none of us had. We never had the likeness until after that we're born again. That's, when we, that's why we must be born again. Because God calls for us that which be not as though we were, saying, ye are gods and all of you are children of the Most High. But to be children of the Most High, you have to have both the image and the likeness, male and female. It goes for male and female. That's why the Holy Ghost is given, right? And your sons and daughters should prophesy, right? After that, that the Holy have, Ghost is part of after, after that the Holy Ghost is What is what is that, that having anything to do about the Son of God being in heaven now? Excuse me? What does that have to do with the Son of God being in heaven now? First of all, you're making an issue of the fact of, you're making an issue of, number one, that if there's a Son of God in heaven now, Tell me what the nature is. It is it, you're, gonna, you're not even saying that the Son of God is in heaven now. Is the Son of God you're going to have to do that. You're going to have to uh-huh. tell me if he's in heaven, 
what do he consist of? Flesh and blood of the spirit. Listen, listen. I'm first breaking down the fact that, you, first of all, that statement that you're saying, that, there's, that the Son of God, right, that Mary birth, she birthed which, which was God himself. Right. So how can, so listen, how can he do the things that he did and he was just a natural breath of, a, a natural breath of life? It was by the Spirit. <laughs> right? All right. Yeah. Okay, it's, it's so now. We we no no I just want to I just want to make sure that everybody understand we 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 that's part of your whole heresy, right? That he was just flesh and blood, right? Matthew uh, I'm, t- I'm talking about I'm talking about the Son of God now. That, okay. that that's what he took on. That's what God took on. He took on flesh and blood like us. That's what we're talking about. Okay, God so, is a spirit. So, God, so wait a minute. God is a spirit. And he always was a spirit. He always will be a spirit. But he took on another nature. And what nature did he take to on? Know what nature is the Son of God is now? No, no, no. He and said he took on another nature. Yeah. Okay, so what nature did he take on? He, take on, he took on flesh and blood. Okay, so what was... He was always spirit. Okay, he was spirit, and, he, and the spirit took on the nature of what? Of uh, what? The human huh? family. Okay, so how many natures did he have? No, 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 no. How many natures did he have? You said there's only two? <laughs> I said. Got, no, no, no. Two ty- wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's what I'm saying. Well, wait a minute. I, no, I didn't. I said okay, so the Bible said? only talks about two types of natures. Okay, so how many did he have? Had, he had wait a minute. Which, which he had, which he took on, and it talked about spirit, which he always was. Now, okay, so my, he had both. My, you said what now? And both. And when he was the son of God, he was both. We mean you notice I said you know I said when he was the son of God. When he was talking about God? in the days of his flesh. Peter. You just admitted that what you said he was just a natural blood he was just flesh and blood and a natural breath of life. You just proved that, that was that's not true. No, we no. Just proved that. Well, how did I prove that that's not true? Because you I said, said God, you said that God I, you said God took on another nature. Okay, so yeah. God is spirit, right? That's one nature that you're saying He is, right? I don't dis- I don't disagree with you. Then you said He took on flesh and blood, which is another yes. nature, right? Yes. Okay. So yes. how many natures did He have? At the time, He had two natures. The, oh no 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 At the, no no no. <laughs> okay, so then you so then Peter. Peter, what you're saying is not true. All right, well, let's get Bible for it then. All, All right. right. Oh, hold up, hold up. No, 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 you let's can't. Let's get Bible for it since you said it's not true. Peter, Peter, we're not going to Wait a minute. You, you want so, me to get Bible for it since you said it's not true? So I want to see if you're going to call the Bible a lot. So you're going to give, no, 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 you're going to give Bible. Here, here's what you're going to do. You're going to give Bible that says he was not spirit. He was just flesh no, and blood. I, I never said he was not spirit, and I never said he he was not flesh and blood. You saying that? I said he took on God is a spirit. He took right. on another nature, which was flesh and blood, with a natural spirit of life, like us. Okay, so how many natures did he have, Peter? He At the both. time when he God only got one nature. Let me go in and explain this. God only has one nature. Spirit always did have one nature. God is God with God that there's no beginning of the day, so in the life, he always was spirit. But look, God had to redeem us from the curse that was committed in the Garden of Eden. There was nobody to redeem us. There was no no uh, 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 hand of reaches, no eye to pity us. So God himself came down, the spirit, got inside of Mary's body. The the uh, Holy Ghost overshadowed her, got inside her body, and got formed the body in her body. Got it. And that body that was formed was God manifested in the flesh. When he was came God? out as God. I now talk about him, and I now know his face. His name was called Emmanuel. Emmanuel, which being interpreted, God with us. God was okay, with so us. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The name that he had, the name that he had, what was 
the name that was given to him. It wasn't the name of the Father, Mighty God. Everlasting Father, Mighty God. But those names, what they, those names, was he all dead before he became the, before he took on flesh? I'm listening with, with, with a father, father Thomas. I'm listening was, to you. Before God took on flesh, was his name always was the mighty God, the everlasting Father? Yes. Did Isaiah say, unto us a child is born, a son yes. is given, and his name yes. shall be called wonderful counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting Father? Right. Did Isaiah did prophesy that? Excuse me? Did Isaiah prophesy that according to Isaiah 9 and 6? Yes, but you're not, what you're not understanding is... It's no, no, no. Name. Was that child all oh, what Isaiah said he was? called that. Uh, but, but was it true? Yes, it's true because he demonstrated so, so, all of the... So he was called up. So he, he was called the everlasting father. The that, God. Proves, that proves that what you're saying concerning the Son of God or the Son, really it's just Son because when, when he was baptized... The Holy Ghost descended, uh, came upon him, lighted upon him in the bodily form of a dove, and said, this is my beloved son, in whom I'm well pleased. Right? Yes, it did. Okay, so that's putting a seal on that body that was made by the Holy Ghost. It's now, that was, just, on it. that was just putting a justification on it. What? <laughs> yeah, I knew that was going to take no, he, no, was justified. Saying... he was justified himself. He's justifying himself? Yeah. Okay, to be what? To be the justifier of us, right? He then was justifying believe. himself that that body was him that came in the flesh. Watch okay, this now. That, watch this now. When God got times Jesus, the Son of God, that was God standing in the water, when the Spirit descended on him like a dove, that was God descended in the form of the shape of the dove, with the dove representing um, harmlessness, and then the one that said, uh, uh, this is my beloved son, that what? was God there. It's all was God. God did it all. What did the dove represent? The dove represents harmlessness. I, I keep breaking up. The, the, dove, the dove represents what? The dove represents harmlessness. Purity. Purity and harmlessness? The, the son of God was pure. He was harmless. That's why the Bible says to, uh, to be harmless as a dove. So the white dove? That was a manifestation. I might well tell you. It was a manifestation. <laughs> Peter. Peter. <laughs> and that's what he appeared in oh, after he rose and, and he showed himself to his disciples. A manifestation. And that's not another thing. So what you, no. okay, Peter, what you, you want mean? me to prove you Peter, want me to prove that God came and took on flesh. Peter, what do you mean by manifestation? Manifestation is something you can see and feel. Right, okay, and that's a manifestation. That's how far okay, you so, can go with it. So wait a minute. You take a little further than that. A manifestation so is something me, you can no, 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 see. No. It's you not. tell me that when he manifested himself, right, to Thomas, because he had to straighten out Thomas. Thomas didn't believe, right? He said, until yes, I yes. handle him, right? Right. Okay, so when you get to the 24th chapter, 24th chapter of uh, Luke, right? Mm-hmm. What does it say there? He said, a spirit does not have flesh and bone such as I have. Exactly. It was a flesh. Look, look now. Look here. Exactly. Flesh, flesh and bone body was manifested, right? A and flesh was, and bone body, yes. That was to help Thomas to believe. Yes. To believe what? To believe that, that, that he that was, that was That was God himself. No, 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 no. To believe that he rose. Because he didn't recognize... What? Listen, what? Didn't God rise? What? Excuse me? Didn't God rise? He was God when he was born. He was so God, God when he was so, yes, so God, God didn't rise. That's why, that's why when you see when you see Son of God, right, that was that was known to the devils. The devils called him out. But for, I, I for, agree with that. I, I agree the, with that. The, the people, but the devil knew who he was. The people were concerned. He kept that secret until they, they until they questioned him, and that's what got him in trouble with respect with the rulers of the Jews because they said, "You say you God's son? That's blasphemy." 
As long as he was hanging out and saying, I'm the son of man, right, they ain't had no problem with that. And everything concerning the son of man, what was, it was prophesied he would be crucified, he would be taken, he would be put to death. In that term, the son of man, not the son of God. So when the, when the jail, when uh, the, the centurion said, um, surely this was the son of God, that's a misnomer. And all his information was based upon the rulers of the Jews that were coming by the cross, mocking him, saying, take yourself down now. If you be the son of God, they heard all of that. They heard all of that. But when they seen the wonder, when they pierced him, when they seen all of that, they were persuaded. The, the centurion was, was, was persuaded. And they refuted by what they were persuaded. They refuted what the, 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 the rulers of the Jews were saying about him. They were mocking him because he was saying he's the son of God. But they didn't understand he had to be crucified. He said, surely this was the Son of God. That's all that they knew. But all through the scriptures, you can read and see he was saying, the Son of Man, the Son of Man. We need to go to Jerusalem because the Son of Man will be crucified and be put to death. And he shall rise the third day. So who rose the third day? If you want to get, to, and get into the, the semantics of it, it was the Son. It wasn't the Father. <laughs> you, say the, you say the Father rose. And the father did rise. The father rose? Yes. Read the scripture. Read the scripture. You gotta get the scripture right, with the father rose. First of all, first of all, you got to no, realize no, 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 no. that the father rose. Now, now wait a minute. Wait a minute. You said the father rose. The rose. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. There's no way in the sun rose. No what nature did he have? Before. Okay? We ain't waiting. If the sun rose, what nature right. did he have? Go ahead. No, I'm asking you. If the sun rose, what nature did it get? What rose? If the sun rose, what the nature did it get? Flesh and blood, flesh and blood, or spirit? Excuse me. Don't say excuse me. You heard me. No, no, no. The sun god rose. I can say the father rose. And right. The I, that if I'm the son of God rose, if the son of God rose. What I'm can he consist of? Flesh and blood or spirit? Peter, Peter, hear what I'm saying. Hear what I'm saying. Flesh and bone body rose it, by the spirit. Read it. Read it. I'm telling you that's yeah. what it was. Because read, that's read what, it. I don't care what you're telling me. No, 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 read no. where flesh and bone Peter, rose Peter, Peter, listen, out of the grave. Right. No, no, we're not going to get into this back and forth with the deep somatic. Hey, and back and see, Sam, you're no, no, no. talking about what you're doing. Your channel. So is he going to be saying this? No, no. You said the father rose. You said yep. the father rose. Yeah. You got to get Bible where the father rose. It never was all right. even all right. All right. the father would rise. Let's, let's, let's get Bible. Get Bible before the father get, rose. And then when I when I get Bible for this, I want you to get Bible. That the sun rose, so, and I want to know my, what the hero says. You can't tell me what to get. You get what you're supposed to get, and that is F A T H E R. Father rose. I want the father rose. See, and I'm gonna say this for the audience. That's why I let them get by and so forth, and, and saying there's no son of God in heaven now. I want that statement. Great is the mystery of God. <laughs> First Timothy three sixteen, and without controversy, there shouldn't be no controversy about this. Great is the mystery of God. Yeah, God was manifested in the flesh. I've been trying to take you that all along. What, 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 what is God, God in the spirit? Peter, you want you want Bible to give you Bible. I want Father. I want Father. Oh, so God is not the Father. father. So God is father. not the Father. So God is not. Are you saying God is not the Father? I want Father, Peter. Peter, I want Father. Let, let, let me let me hear the people hear you say this. Are you saying God is not the Father? I'm saying, Peter, you need to get Father rolled. No, 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 brother. That's All what I'm I can saying. get is God. I, I get, if I get God, that still talks about no, no, the Father. No, no, no. Father rolled from the day. The Bible says, "Have we not all one Father? Have not Peter, have not Father, one God made us?" Peter, I'm Peter. gonna ask you again, Apostle Thomas. You Are you Father saying Rose. that God Father is not the Father? You said Father Are Rose you saying? Peter. Are you saying 
that God is not the problem. See, you shouldn't have ran that. Is it God? Father wrote to the grave, Peter. Is the Father God? That's not scripture. That's a question. Well, I'm asking a question. Is, is the Father God? No, no, no. You can't. You can't. Do, All right, let, can't, me, let me go. With, since, you wanna, since you want to, since you want to, since you don't want to say the Father is God, since you don't want to say the Father is God, I'm going to say, I'm going to say the Father is God. Because that's the all in is that God the Father. Peter, Peter, we want Father rose from the grave. You said Father rose from the grave, right? Did you say that? If God, if, if I can tell you God, is that the Father? Did you say Father rose from the grave, Peter? Yes. Okay, get the scripture. And it's that's, that's, that's how we roll. That's how we rumble here. It, 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 no, no, that ain't how we roll. I want to know from you, is God the Father? Because this yeah, is I'm reading to talking to, about God. I'm going to go to this scripture. This scripture I'm, I'm reading. I'm going to, this I'm going scripture to, I'm reading is talking about to, God. I'm going to first because you're not getting no scripture. No, no, that. you're not getting off of this. You're, you're not just going to limit to help you with death no, no, no. father. No, no, you're no, not no, going to limit him death the father. I Peter. want to know is that father God? Peter, you need to get the scripture you, where you're not. You no, 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 no. Are Peter. you limited to holy one of Israel? The Bible says they have limited the Holy One of Israel. Father Rose. Are you limiting him, death the Father? You're the one limiting him. You're the one that's saying No, I asked you. I asked you, was the Father. No, we're not going to keep arguing about this. You just asked the question. Is God also the Father? He's eternal life. Is the Father also God? He's eternal life. Peter, I'm going to get the scripture. 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 Peter, I'm going to get the what scripture you is know it? it's talking about God. What scripture? You know it's talking about the Father. What scripture, take, Peter? What scripture are you talking about? Three, First Timothy three sixteen. Where? First Timothy. Yeah. Chapter three. Go ahead. And verse sixteen. Okay, so it's going to say the Father rose. Go ahead, read it. Is it, it, God the Father? No, no, no. Read where it says the Father rose in the grave, Peter. Whatever, whatever rose okay, so from the grave went to heaven. That, that's a lie. It's a lie. Okay? We don't have to keep messing with, wasting a whole lot of time saying, you know, saying, oh, let me, God. Let me just go and read this. Oh, hold on. Let me read this. this question is so uh, first, first Timothy 3, 16, since you ain't got no Bible. All right. Excuse me? And since you don't have no Bible to prove your point, let me go ahead and, 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 and go analyze this. The scripture must be rightly divided, properly explained. The scripture must must be rightly divided, properly explained. Apostle Thomas, you cannot rightly divide it. You can't properly explain it. You're going to sit there and ask me a question. Oh, it it better say Paul. No, if it says say God, that means the Father. No, don't. I don't have to say it better say Paul because you wanted to say God. I would say what the scripture says. Just because it says God, it means God, it means God the Father. Yes. Prove it. <laughs> every place, All right. Every place in the scripture, Peter, Peter, every place. Now, we're not talking about everything in the scripture. About, we're talking, talking about this scripture. We're talking about, we talking about 1 Timothy 3.16. That's what you're yeah, talking about. What, what you told that? me to go get it. I'm going to go get it. What is All that? right. And without controversy. Yeah. Great is the mystery of knowledge. Yeah. God, God the Father. No, was manifested. That. It doesn't say what? Peter, you, you adding that. Man, the scripture got to be rightly divided. Is God the Father? You said First Timothy 3? Yes. Because I said that, let you read. Let you go ahead and read. One second, Peter. Because it don't, it don't say Father rose from the grave. That's what we got to get. You said the Father rose from the grave. And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. I'm going to get you. I want to know what wrote it. Without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifested in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, believed on in the world, received up into glory. Where does it say, Father? That's all dealing with the Son. You know what, man? You just, no, no, no. You that's just, all dealing with you the Son. Just, dumb as I... You know, I didn't even think you were going to be this dumb. And, and you call yourself an apostle. That's all dealing with You call yourself an apostle, and you're going to say, oh, where is the father? It's not God the father. It, and, and wait a minute. And, and, and since, since, since you didn't go there and open that up, 
Let me go ahead and open this up. Great you open this up. up. You open it up. Through I mean, I'm gonna open this up. All you did was read it. See, this 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 got to be opened up. You can't just read it. God was manifested. There's a revelation in this. When God, when there when is God some was revelation in this. Apostle God Thomas, God you didn't know that, and, and you call yourself an apostle. The sun appeared. It was the sun. The manifestation of the Father is son, offspring of, f- uh, the word of. What the did son that son consist of? What the did that son consist of? What did that son consist of? Just the room, just the sun room. What did the sun consist of? Because I'm going to say the spirit room. And God, and that spirit was gone. And that spirit is the one that went to heaven. So what happened That's to the body, Peter, Peter, what happened to the body? The body was flesh the and body flesh is no, bone. The body is no the more. The body was flesh and bone. The body was changed from mortal to immortality. He had both. It's no more. He had both. He had both, Peter. The body died. That's, the body The body but, died. The body died, On but the, the son didn't die. The body the, died, but the word didn't die. The body died, but the father in the, the father that sent the son didn't die. God I never said die. the father died. I the, never the said the father died. The, 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 the body was made for. I, I want people to understand me. I want people to understand you, Apostle Thomas. If you can, the, you can, I, I, you I never can said. I never said. That you want to. That I nothing. never said the father died. Okay, we got. I the said. Jail. I said the right body died. That is, you said that the father, but the father was father, in that body. The father rose the from father the grave. got out of I that body. You, you didn't get no scripture for that. <laughs> you said the father rose what, from the grave. What, 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 what I need to get that for? If you if you're not going to acknowledge God as the Father, then every scripture that I go where it says God, you will say, "Hey, it's the Father." You see how dumb you sound. The Brother, son is all you, know, you know what? All you know what? Gone, I'm, I'm, let's, go back, right. let's go back. Let's go back. You know, you get way off the stuff. You, you, you don't understand the scripture. Now, you claim that there's a you son of God. I don't understand what you want. And the but son you don't of God consistent of flesh and have. blood with a natural spirit of life. You know, I'll let you talk first, but, but you better bring me a son of God in heaven now that's flesh and blood. No problem. No problem. No problem. Let's go to Acts. I'm going to go and let you prove your point. Because you, you don't want to believe that God is not the Father. Acts 7. So if you believe that God is not the Father, you're done already. No, 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 no. Then you don't believe he's the Son either, then. You can't say that I don't believe he was the Son either, then. You can't say that. If, if, if you don't believe, believe that, if you don't believe that God is the Father, then you don't believe he's the Son either. Then you don't believe that God is the Father, you don't believe he's the Son either. Okay, you want to just you just want to make false accusations. That's that's typical and so forth. Of did, you not, uh, did you not say? Did you not say? Did, when I asked you, was God the Father? What did you say? I said, get the scripture where it says the Father rose. No, from no. The when I asked you, that's a question that the Bible said to answer the question. Did when I asked you, was God the Father? Because I read the scripture where it says God was manifest, and I said, is that is God the Father? You say, oh, I want, I want to wear this father. Where God, where God the father? No, 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 Peter. What's wrong with that? Well, what's I asked you the question. Peter? So, so what you're saying is, uh, 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 First Timothy three sixteen is not talking about the father. I didn't say that. Well, so I it is talking about the father. He rose from the grave. The father. The father so it is talking about the father. Did the father rise from the grave, Peter? <laughs> yes, he did. You said, yeah? Yes, it is. All we ask you for is book, book, chapter, and verse. Okay, then. If I tell you that God rose, you will say, oh, that's not the problem. Did you, did you not say that. that? I didn't say did that. Did you not say that? I didn't say that. You said, if God, I know the scripture where, you, where, you, where you, God or spirit, Father, did you say, that's not the problem. Father, you want to see the Father. 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 You want to say the Father is in the physical. Father is invisible. All right. You said, you said what? You said all right? Yeah, the Father is in this. Okay, so then, so then how, do, so, so, so how do we see the Father then? He if manifested he himself. I've been huh? trying to tell you that all alone. Okay, so the manifestation of the Father was the Son. No, it wasn't. It was 
system. Yeah. The manifestation of the Father was the Father because the Father was the Son. Read it. Manifested in the flesh. Read it. You can't read that either. That was the Father manifested. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, already slow. struck out. Okay? Look. It is struck out. Look. Look. I'm going to tell you something. There's First no father all, rose from the you grave. Don't, you, don't know who the, look, if you don't know who the father is. Yeah, then you no, don't know who the son no is. Father rose from the you grave. don't know that the father was the son manifested in the flesh. But see, nature, you, nature, you're getting off on another topic. But I'm not going to let you get off. I want you nature. to give me Bible chapter and verse that the son of God is in heaven now. And I want to know what he consists of in heaven. Flesh and blood or spirit. And I need Bible for it. So if you're not going to run to all these, oh, okay, we're tolerant. If I show you, you're not going to believe. Because calm down. You're saying that the, you say, you're saying that the Father is not God. And say, so if you tell me where I go where it says God, you would say, that's not the Father. No, no, no. Let me finish reading the scriptures. No, no, no. You're going to give me so Bible what? chapter and what? verse. You're going to get, since we're talking about the Son of we talk, is, is we talking about the Son of God being in heaven? Are we? Yeah, go ahead. What is this debate about is there a Son of God in heaven? What about it? Is, is, is that what the debate about, right? Yes. Now, prove to me that the Son of God is in heaven now. I see the heaven. That's what the debate about. And the I Son of he, Man. He, I say, wait a minute. Come and give you scripture from God. God. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Before you wait go to what? I'm going to give you scripture why I say the Son of God is not in heaven. First Corinthians 15, 50. For flesh and blood cannot enter, inherit the kingdom of God. That's my sister. That ain't to prove right there that the Son of God is not there because the Son of God only consists of flesh and blood. That was now you show me the Son of God in heaven now. I prove it to you. You you challenge me, you challenge me with your scriptures, so let's get your scripture. First Corinthians. Right? Fifteen fifty, right? Fifteen fifty. Fifteen fifty. And then I'm going to tell you with your sister about no, no, no. that. I'm, I'm going to talk now. Peter, I'm going to talk now. Here. Here. <laughs> and as we have borne the image of the earthy, we now, that's one now that's also bear the image of the heavenly. Now, this I true. say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Neither Is that the earthly nature? Peter, stop. Stop, Peter. <laughs> you don't need to do this. This is not your channel. All right. Well, I want to let you do this. Then I'm going to you. Here's your, here's your scripture, 1 Corinthians 15, 15 and 50. And as we have borne the image of the earthy, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. It ain't talking about him. It's talking about Oh, us. my God. I can't believe you just said that. I, I, I'll say it again. Who's the we, Peter? We have born so, the image so, of the earth. So this so, we shall so also this ain't concern. The Wait a minute. So what you said, who this, is this didn't concern the Son of God? Peter. Who no, 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 no. Peter. Don't Peter me. I no, want to no. know. You said that no, this wasn't gonna, talking about gonna, him. You're not gonna Are you it. talking about the this wasn't talking That's about the Son of God? The Son of God is the sin of flesh and blood? So are you saying, wait a minute. Who's Are you we? saying that the Son of God is in heaven now with us? Who do we? We got the scripture now. Let's go to the scripture. Who do we have born the image of the earthy? Everybody that's human. Okay. We Everybody that's human. And was the Son of God human? Was the Son of God human? Was the Son of God human? No. I heard he did the Son of God wasn't a human, the then what was he then? Wait a minute. After the Son of God wasn't a human, then what was he then? The word human ain't even the book. He was born. Hey, okay. He was born. Well, the sexual ain't in the book, but it says been on this. Period. But then what is in the book? And I said, what day you didn't tell me all humans don't consist of flesh and blood? I wasn't in the book. All right. Do, okay, hey, do so flesh and blood consist of humans? What I'm saying, I already said. Do flesh and blood human? consist of humans? Human. Is that image human? God, man, 
It's man human. God is man. You know where you go, in, in where you, go, you the black. Word, the word human doesn't I'm exist. A, I'm going to make you say human, even though it's not in the Bible. It's not written in the Bible. <laughs> okay, so like the word religion is not in the Gospels. So we're not talking about that. But that's I know you're not. Human part. I'm giving you another example. Yes, is man human. You see where you stop? See, you should not open your big mouth. You should not open your big mouth. And then you got stopped. See, we were talking about the son of God being human. And now you try to mention about humans. That's what you Oh, human ain't in the Bible. Oh, human ain't in the Bible. Then your father, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday in the Bible. 1 Corinthians 15 50 does not say that it's the son. It's not talking about the son. The second thing is, when you go to first. What is it talking about humans? Is it first talking first about act. humans, flesh and blood? When you go to the first and act, first it, chapter. No, no, no. Is it talking about first humans? Flesh, is it talking about humanity? First first chapter of Acts. Talking about mankind, womankind, bro. All right. All right. Is mankind human? Okay. Let's go to Acts. Uh, the, 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 oh, uh, <laughs> when you send it into heaven. <laughs> Did I get the right book? Acts 1. <laughs> I'm still, I'm, I, you know, I'm not satisfied until I make you say it's him. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up. And a uh -huh. cloud received him out of their sight. All right. Okay. I, I agree with that. I, I believe that. he looked steadfastly toward heaven, and uh -huh. he went up, behold, uh -huh. two men stood by them in white apparel. That which All was right. up the, was the flesh and bone that was raised. All right. Show me okay. that that's another nature. No, 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 Peter. It was flesh. Show me that the Son of God. Body. Wait a minute. Body. Show me that Mary gave birth to flesh and bone. The flesh and bone body was raised <laughs> by <laughs> the Spirit. The Spirit that the same? Of the flesh Wait a minute. bone body was in the grave, went to the Spirit in prison and preached. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. Did you just say a flesh and bone body? Wait a minute. Did you just say the flesh and bone body was in the grave? Yo, whoa, whoa, whoa. Brother, rewind that back. Please rewind that back. I'm not going to stay on here long because I don't want this thing to listen out. Let me go. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did you say, did you not say, you got to moderate. You got to moderate. He got to be quiet because he ain't saying, he ain't answering no questions. He said the father. I'm going to ask you the question after you get back. I heard you. I heard you said something. Okay. I also debunked that whole idea that the flesh and blood. Uh, he was he was flesh and blood and a natural natural, natural breath of life. He was more than that. Okay, so he got to keep silent now. He got to keep silent. He got to let he got to let somebody sound and so forth and, and get some get get an intelligent understanding of it. Okay, so you gonna keep quiet? What? Okay, so here we go. The body that rose was flesh and bone. This is the resurrection in the first chapter of Acts. Uh, you pick it up at the ninth verse if you want. Now you're saying the father rose, right? No, no, don't I tell you on what you said. You said no, 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 you're you talking about the father rose. Wait a minute. Is you no, not no, no, saying no, that that father rose is the son? Let's stick to what you're saying. Don't try to get off the subject. Don't try to get off the subject. Know the time We're not talking about is the father rose. We're talking about is the father rose. Very rarely I say unto you, the hour is coming, and now is, 
when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and they that hear shall live. Now, the first one that heard, or I shouldn't say the first one, but the one that heard that was closest to Jesus, and there's a whole, uh, anyway, Lazarus rose, he raised Lazarus the fourth day. That's an example. And all this is an example of his supreme, supreme being, uh, the, the omnipotent, the all-powerful. Now look at Levi, uh, the Levi. Mm. Was that the father, Peter? I ain't hearing that. What's the father what? The father what? No, no, no. Was that the father? Peter, Peter, Peter. You said the father, you said the father rose, right? That's, that's not the that's not the uh uh, uh that's not the debate argument. The debate argument was the son of God in heaven now. Okay, so I got the, I got the scripture where he went up in the heaven. You you saying that wasn't the son? No 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 no. What he's been? in heaven. I don't want to hear why he went up in heaven. I want to know what what, what, what is he heaven in heaven. That's huh? a, that is the debate. The debate is is the son of God in heaven now? It wasn't. Yeah. Is this uh, is the son of God went up up? We're talking about in. In. Peter, is there Peter, a son of God in Peter, heaven now? Peter, you don't so give me a Peter, son of God Peter, in heaven now. Peter, Peter, Peter you don't only want to say. You're not going to get off the son of God. being said. The heavens received him, Peter. He went into the heavens. All right, heaven. the heavens received him. All right. He, he, then where, he, right? where is he at then? Where no, he no, at? no. Huh? Where is he at then? We go to the right hand, brother. All right, so he's he in heaven now, right? Oh, power. He's an all-powerful. So, do, do, do we got you in there? So he's in there, right? Peter, you, you want to play on the When are you going to prove to me that he's in heaven? He went up into heaven. <laughs> he went, <laughs> he went up into heaven. You yeah, go he up, up into heaven, but you got yeah, he to be in heaven. heaven. Huh? Now, now I, you, did you put it in heaven at the right hand of the Father? Is he there yet? This is just have to uh, is he there yet? Uh, Calvin Thomas? Is he I, there yet? I'm, I'm going to I'm going to scripture. But we I have, want to know is he there yet? Acts the seventh chapter. You just want to argue, Peter. You just want to no. argue. And it's sad. I want you to prove your point. Sad. You're, you're I want you to prove. All I'm saying is, I wait a minute. All I'm saying is, I got First Corinthians fifteen fifteen to prove my point that yeah. flesh and blood yeah. cannot inherit yeah. the kingdom of God, and that's Peter. what the Son of God only consists of. Flesh and blood. If you see sun in heaven, that settles the whole argument. No, it you don't. Wanted, you want into whether or not. No, you it don't. Whether or not, uh, uh, what, what's the nature and all of that and so forth like that? You ain't been there. Yeah, yeah because you see sun in heaven. That don't. That, anytime you see sun, I'm going to tell you why you, why you lack of understanding and knowledge. We, we Anytime the, the Bible Lord talks Lord. about the Son of God after He died, uh, it's first, in reference to what He was. John, I'm going to first John. I'm going to first John. Re- and you, you even quoted the script early, the script is earlier, when you said it causes well, those I'm things that be not, and so it was. The scripture calls those things to be like that the Son of God in heaven now, but it's really not. First John one and five. Man, I hope I hope you want to get where He's in heaven, because I got sister where. Flesh and blood can't inherit, and now I'm gonna stick with that. There are three. That's Peter, you can't keep talking and creating confusion. All right, go ahead. You, you, feel it. you can't do that. You you can't right, do that. Ahead. In all due respect, in all due respect, you can't do that, Peter. I'll, all right, Nancy, go ahead. You can't first, do that. First, 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 that's heaven right there, Peter. In heaven. In heaven. I agree, oh, Lord. Just I agree with that. I agree with that. That's you agree with that? that? You agree with that? You agree with yes. that? Okay, yes. me, you can see right there the Father ain't the Son. <laughs> can you open you can that up, please? Apostle Thomas, you're the Can you open up 1 John 5 and 7? Can no, you no, open no, no. It up, you got you to gotta clear the vibe. The Father, yes. the, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. No, 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 let me ask you that. Who, who, who was, was the Word? Son. It was the, the Word is the Son. Read the that. The Word was made flesh. The it doesn't say the Word is the Son. was called it the doesn't. Son of God, the Son of Man. It's Son. 
offspring. You, add, you added to the Bible. They don't add nothing. Okay? I <laughs> Brother, you I, just added. I, I you can't know John 5 and 7. Y'all always do that. You're always adding to the Bible. That the word that was made flesh hung hey, on the cross. Do, do you want me to go to that thing? Do you want me to go? The word oh, said man. that it would hang on the cross. The word said that, Joe, uh, uh, Peter. The word said do, that. The word do, do you want me to? The word do you want me to, Peter? Do you want do you want me to go to First John five and seven and open that up the right way for you? you Peter, you ain't got scripture for Father Rose. With do you want me since you went to that scripture? Father Rose, don't don't don't, 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 don't keep jumping from scripture to scripture. Don't, don't, don't bother that. Don't keep don't jumping from scripture that. to scripture. The and the then he says, "Oh, Jesus said, Father Rose." The debate is not the Father Rose. The debate is about the is there the Son of God in heaven? Stick to the subject. But since you went to heaven. Since you went to heaven at First John five and seven, ain't that wrong? Since you went to heaven at First John five and seven, and look in, in, at those three records, so now we in heaven. All right, First John five and uh, First John five and seven. Let me get that. See, because you don't know how to open up the scripture. We don't, right. don't want to hear that. We don't want to hear none of that. But okay. there are three. I'm better at there it than you. There are three. I'm better than that. There are three. Okay, I'm better there are three. Three what? Three what? Three what? Right is in heaven. It's there are three what? Talk, what close to God? There are three what? Who's who's talk, talk, I'm talking now. Did you add the text? Talk. Which one? The is people that right here just said open up the right way. You didn't talk. open it up. You just read it and then add it to the Bible saying the word was the son. And you can't read it. Look. But there are three. That bear record in heaven. Three what? Like what does three mean? What does three mean? That that's three titles. Three three means what? Three, three titles. Three, three marks. Three titles. All right, let me finish. Three marks. There are three that bear record in heaven. The Father, that's God. And the Lord, that's God. And the Holy Ghost, that's God. See, you, you stop right there, but you should have finished. And those three are one. What it means those three are one? There's three titles recorded in heaven of that one God. God, Father, God, the Word, God, the Holy Ghost. Those are his three titles. Did I lie? You see how you see how easy to open that up? See, that's Peter, what you didn't do. Peter, you you can't people understand that. You're in heaven. You're in heaven. I don't see nowhere it said the word was the son. So you try to put your son in heaven for like going to this Christian. You can't go there. Because now they ask you again. What do you want to do? You said the word is not the is not the son? Not right there. Excuse me? That's not the son right there. That's not the son right there. Who is it, Peter? No, no, it's not. That's the problem. Peter, who's this who who's the word, Peter? The father. The father's the word? Please, please don't go to please don't Peter, go to John please, one and one. No, no. No, 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 please don't go to John 1 and 1. I'm going to kill you. Because you're the one that said that your father rose from the grave. You ain't got space for that yet. You back to Then who rose? Huh? Who I rose said that the father didn't rise? I said the son. Then prove it. Prove it. The son, Christ. Is Christ God? The son, Christ. God is Wait. the head of Christ. All right, all right. If you want to say the sun rose, what did he consist of when he rose? Such a blood of fear. Both. You got heard that, didn't you? He said he rose flesh. He rose both flesh, flesh and blood and spirit. Flesh. So say when and he died, bone. then how can he be flesh and bone if he that rose bone flesh and blood? Nothing. You see where you trapped? So how can that flesh and bone be the son of God if you said he rose Spirit flesh and blood? That body up. Say you done, man. It was the son hey, of Tony, God. get that monitor. Turn that monitor on because he just put flat on. That brother it went was, flat on. Y'all was, heard him yourself. Y'all he heard Apostle right. Thomas say okay. that flesh and blood this rose. Is not this. this is he not flesh and blood either. rose, but then he said that body that Thomas handled was flesh and bone. You, you can't even, have both. Everything. You didn't shut up. Man, enough. man, you just get out of here. What you talking about? Get, turn hey. that monitor on. That's all he's doing. Hey. So, uh, Brother, uh, you went flat nine. Your uh, heart monitor, uh, you're done. You're dead. Uh, you should have you kept your mouth shut. Tony, Tony. Then if you open your mouth, you're going to sit out that line. 
ain't got blood nothing. Blood he ain't got nothing. Blood he ain't got nothing. Blood oh, oh. Blood he want to argue. He want to argue what the scriptures say. Right? I don't want to argue what you say. You never said flesh and blood rose. You said that. You preached that lie. You said that lie. He don't have no scripture where the Son of God is not. Apostle Thomas, did you just say that flesh and blood rose from the dead? Nonsense. 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 Nons